Hey guys, Constance here from Cos Pelton Cornbread. So today I'm bringing you into the kitchen again, but this time I'm not going to be doing a cooking tutorial. I'm going to be doing a sewing tutorial. Now, a while back I did a walkthrough of how I make my farmhouse cross back aprons. And as I explained in that video, I am not a seamstress or a sewist as I've heard it's called now. Um, but I can use a sewing machine and when there's something that I want and I maybe can't find, I just get out the sewing machine and I make it. So it's not something I do for pleasure, uh, so I don't do it very often. I just do it as the need arises. And the tutorial that I have been asked to do is this, how to make a custom cover for your Bible. Now, I made this one a while back. I've got um, the body of the cover is made out of this uh, ticking striped uh, duck cloth. It's kind of a heavy cloth. And then I made the pocket in the front, which this is completely optional. But I made the pocket out of a contrasting fabric with some sunflowers on it because I absolutely love sunflowers. So the cover has the pocket on the front and then there are flaps inside that the front and back covers slide into and I kind of use that as a pocket as well to hold papers and things like that. So I'm going to walk you through how I made this one because I have another Bible that I just ordered and I want to make a cover for it. So I will show you how I do that. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is to measure your Bible. Now this is most easily done with a measuring ribbon if you have one. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your measuring ribbon and you're going to put it even with the edge of the cover of your Bible. And then you're going to wrap it all the way around. Make sure it's still even over there. And see what your measurement is. So this one is 15 and a quarter inches. So I'm going to write that down. And then I'm going to measure the height, edge to edge once again. This one is nine and three quarter inches. Now, if you don't have a measuring ribbon, you can do this with a ruler. I would just lay the ruler on the table, take your Bible, put it flat, even with the end of the ruler, and then just very carefully roll it. Make sure it doesn't slide at all, like that. And then you'll get the measurement that way. And then of course you would just do it like that for the height. All right, now, when it comes to the measurement, so you basically have the height and width of the open uh, surface of your Bible covers and spine. So you're going to need two rectangles of fabric and for my Bible cover I'm using this sunflower fabric on the outside and the inside of it is going to be the ticking striped muslin. Now these two rectangles are going to be the size that you just measured out for your Bible plus a little bit extra. I'm going to go ahead and add one inch to each of those. So the height of my rectangle is now 10 and 3 quarter inches, which my Bible was 9 and 3 quarter. The width of this rectangle is 16 and a quarter inches. My wraparound width was 15 and a quarter. So whatever your measurements of your Bible were, plus an inch. Now you're also going to need two pieces of fabric for the inside cover uh, piece. That fabric will be the exact same height as your other rectangles, but then the width, you're going to measure your Bible. So my measurement here, I'm measuring the cover this time, is six and a half inches. So I'm going to cut my fabric. Hello, Miss Ava. <laughs> Watch out, girl. So I'm going to cut two pieces that are this width minus a half inch. 
so six inches from my Bible, and then the same height as the other fabric. So I have two here, and I'm again using that ticking fabric. So this is the uh, 10 and 3 quarter inch height, and then six inches wide. So again, the flap piece on the inside is the width of your Bible, the width of the cover, minus a half an inch. And then the same height as your rectangles. Now if you want to make a pocket for pens and highlighters and things like that, as I have done for this one, basically what you're going to need is two pieces of fabric, whatever size you want your pocket to be, plus a half an inch all the way around. So the pocket size plus a total of an inch in each direction. And the reason I do it that way is so that it is double thick, makes it a little bit more durable. So I'm going to make my pocket out of the same fabric that I'm making the cover out of. So I've got my two pieces of fabric, my two rectangles that are basically the size of the pocket that I'm going to make, plus a little bit extra for the hem. So now since my pocket is going to be made out of the same fabric as my Bible cover, I want to be able to see the top of my pocket pretty easily. So I'm just going to decorate it with a little strip of rickrack rick across the top as some trim. Again, this is totally optional. You don't have to do this. You don't even have to add the pocket if you don't want. I just like having a pen and a highlighter and everything readily available. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to sew my pocket. I've got my two pieces of fabric. I've got my one with my rickrack trim that I just sewed on there, as you can see. And I'm going to put them right sides together. And we're going to sew these together uh, all the way around, but I'm going to leave an opening on the bottom so that I can turn it right side out. All right, so I sewed that together. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim off these corners on the outside of the stitching just to remove some of the excess bulk. Alright, so you can see where the stitching is. I just trimmed off the excess of the corners. Now I'm going to turn this right side out. And then I'm going to need my iron. Alright, I have my pocket turned right side out. I've got my corners pushed out as far as I could get to get them nice and square. And then I'm just going to take the raw edge that's still open and I'm just going to kind of get it nice and lined up with the corners fold it over like that and I'm just going to iron it in place to help it stay where it needs to be and just iron the whole thing to get it nice and nice and flat and then while I've got my iron here I'm going to take my two pieces that are the inside flaps uh, for the covers and I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to fold it over about a half an inch and I'm going to iron it into place. And then I'll fold it over one more time. And I'll do the same thing with the other one. Actually, I'm folding this one the wrong way. I didn't mention that. So this is the wrong side of the fabric and I have the right side over here. That's where I folded it from. So I'm folding the right side to the wrong side because this is what you're going to want to see. Let me turn that one over. Glad I caught that now before I sewed it. <laughs> more.
Okay. So I'm just going to set these aside for the moment. I'm going to take now, again, this is only if you are adding a pocket onto your cover. So I'm going to take my fabric that is my the outside of my cover, and I've got it, I'm looking at it right side up. Now the right hand side, this is going to be the front of your cover. So I'm going to take the pocket that I have here, and actually let me do it like this. I'm going to fold this in half. Okay, so this is basically the cover of my Bible. I'm going to take my pocket and I'm going to place it. Now remember you got a little bit for the spine here. I'm going to just kind of center it where I think the center of my Bible cover is going to be. And I'm going to take some pins and just pin it into place. Now I'm going to sew this on down the sides and across the bottom and that will attach it and close that opening at the bottom of the pocket. And then my two flaps here where I folded it over and ironed it, I'm going to sew that into place. Now when I sew the pocket on, I'm going to sew that as close to the edge of the pocket as I can get. Alright, now when I sewed the edge, folded over edge, I went as close to the inside fold as I could get. Not the outer one, the inner one, just to secure this piece of fabric that was folded over. So now I'm going to show you how to take all of the pieces and put them together. Now putting this together is almost exactly the same as uh, putting a pillow together. The only difference is if you is that you have these extra pieces. So you've got the front, you've got the inside layer, and then you have the flaps that will hold your uh, covers. So I've got my inside piece right side up. I'm going to take my flaps. I've got my folded over edge right here on the back side. I'm going to put these right side up and I'm going to line up the corners. I'm going to take my other one and line it up at the other end, lining up all those corners. So you've got the flaps on the ends and the opening in the middle. This is where the spine of your Bible is going to be. Then I'm going to take my outside piece and I'm going to put it face side down. Line up the corners. And then I'm going to take some pins and I'm going to secure all of these layers. So we have these all pinned together. Now this down here is the bottom of my cover and I'm going to do this again just like I'm sewing a pillow, just like I did that pocket. I'm going to leave an opening down here of about three or four inches so that I'll be able to turn this all right side out when I'm finished. So I'm going to start down here, sew all the way around and come back here and leave a couple inches open. And when I sew this, I'm going to sew it about Mm, not quite a half an inch from the edge, maybe about three eighths.
Alright, so I have finished sewing all the way around and I'm going to take my pinking shears here and I'm just going to trim off the excess fabric on the outside of the stitching but I'm not going to trim it where I still have the opening of uh, the, the layers where I haven't sewn that together. I'm just going to trim from there all the way around. I'm going to make sure that I don't cut my stitching because when I cut my stitching, that's just not a good thing. All right, so I have it all the way trimmed. Now I'm going to take this opening here and I'm going to turn the whole thing right side out. And you'll just have to watch and make sure that you have the flap pieces going to the back or the inside. So now I'm just going to take that sewn edge and just kind of give it a tug. Get it nice and flat. So now I still have the opening down here. I'm just going to take those raw edges, fold them in, get them nice and even, and then I'll iron them into place. And go ahead and just iron the whole thing while I'm at it. I've got a lot of little bits of thread here where I trimmed from the with the pinking shears. So now to finish this off, I'm just going to take my sewing machine and I'm going to sew these two edges together, close this opening, and this time I'm going to sew as very close to that edge as I can get. So I'm just going to take my cover here, I'm going to open it up, this is the front, line my Bible up with the front of the Bible. And I'm just going to slide the cover into that flap and then slide the back cover into the back pocket there. And there you go. And I've got a pocket on the front for a pen. Alright, so there you go. That is how I make my custom sewn Bible cover. You can make this for any Bible that you have. Uh, it'll fit hard cover, soft cover, and is pretty flexible. You just have to have those measurements that I showed you. That's it for today. If you have any questions again on how I did this, please leave them in the comments down below and I will be sure to address them. So thanks for joining me here in the Homestead Kitchen for a little sewing project. My name is Constance from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. Now I'll talk to y'all next time.